Warhammer or Warhammer 40,000 uh, you need to get an army of models um, each one's got different abilities or different um, strengths and weaknesses and you basically try to um, uh, destroy your opponent's army or collect objectives before your opponent um, by throwing dice um, and hoping to get the, the right outcome for what you're trying to do. Um, it's, a, it's a strategy game, um, much like a futuristic version of chess really. But, um, the basics of the game is um, is just using dice to to test your luck. Obviously, you need the models themselves, which um, come uh, in boxes on sprues, which you have to make yourself. So you can need glue to stick them together. Um, you also need a variety of tools for for cutting them off the sprue, like um, uh, files, um, knives, uh, um, cutters for um, for cutting them off the sprue as well. You also need um, a, the glue as I've mentioned, the paint to paint them, um, and the, the dice um, for rolling to, for your results and things like then um, measuring tape to measure your movement and your ranges of your weapons to make sure that you, you are actually doing the right thing. Um, that's about it really. You, you, ideally you'd need somewhere to play, um, which we've got a club around the corner, um, or you could set up um, a table at home to play at home but um, might not be quite as good there because the table table has to be a set size which we, we adhere to in the club. I play differently because of my army choice which is Tyranids and they're more of a close combat army so I play aggressively and try to get up there quickly. Basically, I just field whatever I think is best for the current situation that I have to deal with. I play it differently because I got a magic army and a shooty army, which I stay back and then 15 minutes later I just go in for killing blow. Magic Gathering looks like a very interesting game to get into as I played Yu-Gi-Oh before and it looks similar to that. I ha I don't know most of the rules to it but it does look very interesting to get into. I know you just need a deck and a life die but yeah it looks like an interesting game. Well I think Bolt Action is very interesting as basically is the time of World War 2 slash World War 1 and as war buff for myself, um, very interested in that sort of thing. Um, I think it takes a lot of skill as well to actually paint and glue models together. 